Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From iNews under the main headline of thousands of Mariupol residents have been forcibly deported. To Russia. Ukrainian officials say. Summary of headline article. Ukrainian officials are growing increasingly concerned for the safety of several thousand Mariupol. Residents who they say have been forcibly deported from the besieged city to Russia. In a telegram post, Ms. Denisova wrote, In recent days, several thousand Mariupol residents have been deported to Russia. She added, it is known that the captured Mariupol residents were taken to filtration camps, where the occupiers checked people's phones and documents. After the inspection, some Mariupol residents were transported to Taganrog and from there sent by rail to various economically depressed cities in Russia. See more hashtag Mariupol City Council informed that thousand of hashtag Ukraine citizens from the captured parts of Mariupol have been forcibly interned to filtration camps and then to remote villages in hashtag Russia. From Metro under the main headline of man arrested for murder after student. 19. Found dead at London Uni Halls. Summary of headline article. Sabita Thanwin was found dead at student accommodation in Clerkenwell. Picture. P.A. Met police. A man has been accused of murder after a teenager died at student accommodation in central London. This weekend. Ma Marufe. 22. Was arrested by police investigating the death of Sabita Thanwani. 19. In Sebastian Street. Clerkenwell. They attended along with medics to find that she had suffered serious neck injuries but, despite their efforts, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Detective Chief Inspector Linda Bradley, who has been leading the investigation, said, I would like to thank everyone for publicizing and sharing our appeal to Trace Marufe. Ms. Thanwani had serious neck injuries. Picture. Met police. Sabita's family have been updated with this development and continue to be supported by specially trained officers. From Mail Online under the main headline of Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe relaxes with family at Government Mansion. Summary of headline article. A beaming Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe has been spending her first days of settling back into the UK with her family in a government-owned Georgian mansion in Buckinghamshire. The family enjoyed two days of peace at the mansion, with Nazanin and Richard getting reacquainted before cooking pizza in the industrial-size kitchen. With seven-year-old Gabriella, Siddick tweeted, Nazanin told me that this is what she missed most while she was imprisoned, everyday moments. With her little girl, you smell nice. Gabriella told her mummy, dissipating the tension as only a child can. Before Nazanin replied, Do I? The single episode documentary, called Nazanin, follows the life of Mr. Ratcliffe as he balanced a political campaign with raising Gabriella. From Metro under the main headline of Rishi Sunak hints he could slash taxes and fuel duty in. Spring statement. Summary of headline article. Millions of households face a spike in energy costs as living costs increase. Picture. P.A. Rishi Sunak says he is on a mission to cut taxes amid the spiraling cost of living. The Chancellor will face a grilling on Wednesday when he delivers his spring statement in the House of Commons. He has been urged by opposition parties and Tory backbenchers to slash taxes and cut fuel duty by up to 5p. He told the Mail on Sunday. My priority over the rest of this parliament is to cut people's taxes. But with the war in Ukraine and the UK's sanctions on Russia adding fuel to the fire.
Mr. Sunak warned his statement would include challenging projections. From the Independent under the main headline of Boris Johnson sparks fury by comparing Ukraine war to Brexit. Summary of headline article. Boris. Your words offend Ukrainians. The British and common sense. Live updates. Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links show all 16 and a 16th live updates. Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links live updates. Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links Russia Ukraine war Russia Ukraine war live updates. Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links aptopix Russia Ukraine war aptopix Russia Ukraine war. Copyright 2022 The Associated Press. Live updates. Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links Switzerland Russia Ukraine war Switzerland Russia Ukraine war live updates Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links aptopix Russia Ukraine war aptopix Russia Ukraine war copyright 2022 the associated press live updates Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links Russia Ukraine war Russia Ukraine war copyright 2022 The Associated Press live updates Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links Russia Ukraine war Russia Ukraine war copyright 2022 The Associated Press live updates Zelensky suspends parties with Russian links Russia Ukraine war Russia Ukraine war copyright 2022 The Associated Press From Evening Standard under the main headline of 6 dead after car drives into crowd at carnival In Belgium Summary of headline article A car drove at high speed into a group of Belgian carnival performers who were preparing a parade Early on Sunday, killing six people and seriously injuring ten others. Reuters police denied media reports the car was involved in a high-speed chase. The incident occurred in the southern Belgium village of Strepi Braconese at around 5 a.m. local time. A speeding car drove into the crowd. Belgium has sought to root out people suspected of militant links over the past seven years. From Evening Standard under the main headline of Woman. 48. Charged with murder after body found in back garden. Summary of headline article. A 48-year-old woman has been charged with murder after a man's body was found buried in a back garden. Fiona Beale was arrested at a hotel in Cumbria shortly after midnight on Wednesday after. Northamptonshire police launched a homicide investigation. The force said the body, believed to be that of a 42-year-old missing man, was found in the garden of a house in Northampton on Saturday afternoon after they were called to an address in Moore Street, Kingsley. On Sunday, two police officers guarded the door of the property, with a forensics team going in and out of the house. Police said the remains are expected to be taken to Leicester where they will be forensically examined by a home office pathologist. From Daily Mirror under the main headline of FA Cup semi-final draw in full is Liverpool. Chelsea and Man City learn fate. Summary of headline article. The FA Cup semi-final draw took place before Nottingham Forest and Liverpool's quarter-final tie. With Chelsea, Crystal Palace and Manchester City already in the pot the draw for the FA Cup semi-finals has concluded with Manchester City set to face either Liverpool or Nottingham Forest and Chelsea due to take on Crystal Palace over the weekend of Saturday 16 and Sunday 17 April. Thomas Tuchel's Blues are hoping to fare better on their return to Wembley Stadium having lost their Last two FA Cup semi-finals to Arsenal and Leicester.
City joined Chelsea and Palace in the semi-finals with a victory over Southampton later on Sunday afternoon. The semi-final draw was conducted by Anfield legend Robbie Fowler, who won the FA Cup in 2001. Ahead of Nottingham Forest and Liverpool's quarter-final clash at the city ground on Sunday evening. Who will win the FA Cup this season? From the Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine war. 56 elderly people killed by Russian forces. Official says. Zelensky compares Russian offensive to Nazi Germany. Live. Summary of headline article. 108 Australia has banned the sale of alumina and aluminium ores to Russia in response to what it described as unrelenting and illegal aggression towards Ukraine. Reports Christopher Knaus. The country's federal government has been under pressure to stop the export of alumina to Russia. With critics warning it was potentially allowing Australian resources to be used in munitions manufacturing. The government overnight announced it was ceasing all exports of alumina and aluminum ores, including bauxite, to limit Russia's ability to produce aluminium, a major Russian export and a critical component in arms and munitions. Russia relies on Australia for 20% of its alumina needs. From the Independent under the main headline of Kinzhal missile. The hypersonic weapon Russia used for the first time in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. Russia's military has claimed to have fired a hypersonic ballistic missile to destroy a large weapons depot in Ukraine. Ukraine's Air Force confirmed a Russian missile strike in the Ivano Frankisk region but did not clarify the weapons used. What is a hypersonic missile? The Royal Navy and French Navy have been developing a hypersonic missile of their own since 2011. And it is expected to enter service in eight years. Whilst seemingly using the Kinzhal for the first time. Russia has used an array of weapons against Ukraine during the war. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day thank you for your support goodbye.